Hello again guys, a couple of weeks ago a company called Loctec reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in taking a look at some of their monitor arms. Now unfortunately all of the monitors I've got are currently set up about as well as they can be stand wise, so I told them I did, wasn't really interested in that, but I've got a laptop that I use when I'm working from home and it would be nice to have a way to sort of swing it out onto my standing desk and then swing it back away whenever I'm done working for the day. So they suggested this. This is actually, this is two different products that they put together. When you find it on Amazon, it's one product, but they were out of stock of that one in particular. So they combined two different ones together. You have the D5U, which is a monitor stand that has built-in USB. And then you have the DA1, which is the actual laptop tray. So I thought I would just quickly open this up and set it up and show you how it works and everything and let you know my thoughts about it. Now, I normally don't open boxes on camera because large knife, very dangerous. There you go. And it looks like these are actually a box within a box. So let me go ahead and open both of the outside boxes and then we'll move on. So as you can see at this point, we have the D5U, the desktop monitor mount for a 10 to 27 inch monitor and a DA1, the up to 15.6 inch notebook tray. My work laptop is actually a 15 inch MacBook Pro, so it should work just fine on this. Let's go ahead and get this open. We'll take a look at what's in the tray and then look at the arm itself. So you've got some instructions in here. This is how you'd attach the laptop plate. And if you're using a thicker laptop, you've got a product list, all of the different things that Loctec makes. Neat little magnet you can stick on your fridge if you're into that. And some return and replacement information in case that's necessary. And I see all sorts of little pieces and parts and bits and bobs. So I'm guessing this all will attach together. I'll figure that out here in just a minute. And then inside of the other box, the tape has already been cut. I'm guessing that may have happened before they shipped it out. But there you go. Same sort of stuff. We have that return replacement form. We have the same kind of instructions here. Uh, this is talking about visa mounts for a monitor, but there's also, you know, the, the option of using the notebook tray. Some more documentation on the other products they offer and the meat and potatoes of the package itself. Here's the, what looks like the mounting arm and the little clamp you'll hook it to. Some more mounting hardware, some more mounting hardware, all sorts of mounting hardware. Ooh, a USB cable. So this I think is actually the, there's a little section where you can feed the cables through. Oh, and it's got two USB 3 ports with a built-in USB 3 cable. Again, not sure if I'm actually gonna end up using that because I'm not gonna be using this as a monitor, but definitely very nice to have these USB 3 extender cables included. Yeah, they had this Velcro strapped around it and it's uh, one piece of Velcro that doesn't come apart. As soon as I pulled it out, it just decided it was gonna expand and it's got a lot of tension to it. All right, so we're back already. I thought I would take just a couple of minutes to show you some of the setup process for this. Uh, as you can see, it once you uh, once you take that strap off, it's very, very difficult to actually compress this. So I'll probably end up opening this up and changing the tension a little bit. But if it's gonna be holding a laptop, it might need to be a little bit more tense. Anyway, the mounting equipment, I'm gonna be doing the, the actual clamp method. So I'm gonna need these two pieces. You can also do a grommet method where you've got a hole in your desk and you feed it down through that, but I did not want to do that option. So what you do is you take this plate, you find the bottom here, you've got three different mounting holes. So I'm gonna stick this on those mounting holes. Then you take these three little screws with Allen wrench heads. You fit them in here and screw them in using the included Allen wrench. All right, now that I've got all that attached, you flip it over here. This is the clamp component, the part that's actually going to be clamping up against the desk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm going to be fitting it up against the plate here and then using two smaller screws here to actually stick into the back. However, luckily they use the same Allen wrench head, so I don't have to use a different Allen wrench or anything. Now I just need to figure out which of these I need to do for my table, which is over on the other side of the room. So I'll give that a shot and I will get back with you. All right, so after doing a quick measurement, just taking this over to the desk and trying it out, it looks like these two middle mounting holes are gonna be the best option for me. So I take these two screws here and we'll just fit them right down in there. So at this point, if we were going to be hooking this to the table to use as a monitor arm, it would be ready to go. Basically just go ahead and screw this up into the table to clamp on together. However, we are gonna be using this as a laptop arm. So I have to take this other end and actually place the laptop mounting plate on it. So this is the laptop mounting plate and there's an awful lot of little parts for this. Uh, these are the little arms that will mount underneath. So you kind of fit it on like this and you see here you've got two little holes where this little buckle piece should fit in. There you go. You just have to kind of fit it in the right place. It'll slide around a little bit and it has some give to it. There's a little click out place here and that allows you to take this slide back and forth. So yeah, I can adjust it after the fact. That's very nice. So I'll go ahead and put this other one on. 
try to get them somewhat lined up with each other. And they did also include two little stoppers here just in case your laptop is thicker. So you can take these pieces at the bottom off and replace them with the longer separators. Uh, my laptop is very, very thin because it's a MacBook Pro, so I'm not going to be worrying about that. And really, step two is the only other step, and that involves attaching it to the arm. Now, the back of this, the mounting plate area, there's two different ways you can attach it. You see there's two little stick-out bolts here and two screws, and then two here. So you can either do it to the top one way or the bottom. And for the sake of my sanity, I've gone ahead and attached the arm to my little table here. And I'm gonna loosen the tension so I can hopefully move it down. I haven't moved this at a bit of a weird angle, but at this point you can kind of see I've got the arm, I've got the little mounting piece, and I can kind of fit that down into the little holes there. There you go, you can see a little better now. You got these two little divots that it fits into. And then you take, looks like you take these little silver colored ones, thumb screws, and just screw it into place. Now I do have a few concerns, minor concerns, about just using uh, the two mounting brackets for this, but I guess this is just the way that they suggest to do it. Uh, but at that point, there we go, I have a mounted laptop arm. And actually for whatever reason, it's staying in place right now, so I'm not gonna question it. All right, so this is gonna be a little difficult to see, but at this point I've gone ahead and attached the entire arm to my standing desk here. It's over on the back side, so you can't really see all of the way that it's connected, but it was basically just slide it over it, screw the little clamp up into place, and it's very, very solid now. Like if I move it, the entire thing moves. But hopefully, if all goes according to plan, I should be able to take my work MacBook and just slide it on here. Let me go ahead and move these arms out a little bit. All right, and the MacBook is definitely on there. I do see one immediate problem with this and it's that I'm not gonna actually be able to close the MacBook while it's on here, so that's definitely a bit of a bummer. But for the most part, I do tend to leave my laptop running. I'll just log out or let it close or whatever and just sort of let it run in the background the majority of the time. And I am tightening up one of the Allen nuts back here just because it wasn't wanting to sort of stand up on its own. But there you go, MacBook is mounted. This is probably how it'll spend a lot of its time when I'm not actually working on it. It does have a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of a give to it, but I can move this around. I can sort of push it over out of the way when it's not gonna be used. I just really wish that there was a way to actually close it when I wasn't using it because that, that would be just a little bit easier for me. I know that's definitely an option to leave it kind of open like that, but I, I'd rather have it a little bit more secure so I don't have to worry so much about it falling off of this plate. So maybe what I do is when I start working in the morning, I open it up, I, I do this, and then at the end of the day, close it down, push the sides in, push it off to the side, maybe pull it up, I don't know, and just put it out of the way. Because it does have a lot of flexibility to move around. And as long as I don't tighten this little Allen nut too much back here, I can actually wiggle it around too. And there you go, end of the work day. I'm done working for the moment. I can just push it over off to the side, have my main setup back here with my, my monitors, as you can see. And then when it's time to work, I pull everything back over. I pull it back down. I give it a little bit of an adjustment here. And once I've got this all adjusted properly, I should be able to just open it up and start working. I don't know if that's exactly the most optimal way to do it, but I, I may experiment. I may move things around and see, have, see if I like it better in different positions. But yeah, for the moment, definitely not a bad option. This arm is very, very sturdy. And I like that you can adjust it after the fact. You've got a little included Allen wrench. So I could uh, just twist this and adjust the tension on it, whether I want it to stay low or go higher or stay in whatever position that I have to happen to put it into. But if I loosen it up, it's it's probably just gonna take off. You know, there we go, I'm in a different position now. It's got a little more strength to hold it. And I like the fact that it does have those included USB 3 cables if you do wanna use those. And it's got included hardware to to sort of hide all the cabling under the desk. If you, if you were to have it on the back side of a desk that was facing out or something, you could cover all that cabling up. So I'm gonna be using this. If you guys are interested in learning more about it, I'll have links to where you can check it out over on Amazon. And if you want to see more about this, I can make a follow-up video down the road. But for now, I'm gonna give it a shot as my everyday workstation type area. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to receive more videos whenever they become available. And I will see you again next time.